Welcome everyone. I don't know if you had seen my post tonight. I'm a little bit late. <laughs> well, um, late but alive because um, we over here have quite a winter. So I was not able, I decided to not stop my car, not to try to update you all because it was easier to just be patient and wait. And this is relates to our topic today. So welcome everyone. We are going to talk today about um, long distance Valentine's Day. And also I want to talk about the classic idea of love from old Russian culture. And how uh, different it is than the way we see love now. But also, if we took a critical look, was it really love or was it something else? Was it... Well, we'll talk about it. Welcome everyone! Thank you everyone who is able to join. And guys, I want to uh, thank you so much for the wonderful um, messages I have gotten. I just... <laughs> I told you that I may be doing Wednesday live shows and uh, it's always seem to hinder when I say it's going to be certain day and of course it happened on that Wednesday so I wasn't really taking a vacation but I just needed to have an evening or two off and uh, thank you so much for the kind words and uh, thank you for joining the stream thank you uh, Hello, James. Thank you. Thank you, James. Welcome. Good to see you. Uh, thank you for the compliments. Thank you, Kevin. Hello, Terry. Thank you for joining. I'm glad you have internet. So good to have you. Um, Jerry, hello. And John, hello. Hi, guys. How are you? Uh, thank you so much for the kind words and uh, so today I could not I was actually yes I was thinking to take a couple more days off but but the Valentine's uh, weekend is here and I know it is a tough Valentine's for many people because uh, it is a long distance for many of my followers but also I think it's long distance for most part of the world unless uh, you are where you want to be already and then you are lucky but what to do to everyone else who is um, maybe not feeling that excited and not feeling that happy and I'm just here to support you and to have a conversation just heart to heart <laughs> um, not really a lecture or anything like this but just want to share and support those people who are maybe feeling a little bit sad maybe you wonder you know what to do with this whole um quarantine valentine and how to make your lady feel special uh during this time if you cannot be next to her right if you cannot be uh in her city in her country in her state or um something else could happen you know some people just have their their plans and everything had changed so dramatically and drastically that they had to adjust their whole plan so but we are we are here today and i just want to share with you a few things that you know um you don't always have to be close to somebody to truly show that you care and life always throws curveballs you know life always show unexpected things and if your love in your relationship will make it to the distance you know holidays the distance um just distance um regular days if your relationship will make it through the distance during holidays during re regular days of course there should be some kind of you know deadlines there should be some kind of plan but 
think about this if you can make it through this if you can find a way to show that you care uh if you able to see why you are doing this because obviously it's a lot easier to be with somebody who is just next to you you know uh if you for example date internationally it's much easier to you know find somebody who lives next door or i mean supposedly right or um there is definitely an easier route in a lot of long business relationships do not make it right <laughs> but uh you know doing having this channel for a while and from my own experience and of course from experiences of n so many of my uh subscribers uh a lot of long distance relationships actually end up w working really well because it's almost like you carry the heavy stone first i'm gonna say this again it's almost like you carry the heavy stone the most the difficult part first and when you do that it, it will either break obviously right it will either break in 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 a million pieces or it will develop and will become very very strong and there are very few challenges that you won't be able to overcome because you started from a challenging situation that you could have easily given up on but you hadn't right It's a lot easier on giving up on something and decide that, oh, you know, this couldn't work. It couldn't be for me. I couldn't be, uh, I'm not that guy or <laughs> so. And you know what? It, <laughs> there is a possibility if you take a critical look, you realize it's not that it's long distance. It is not for you for whatever reason so that is a whole different conversation maybe we'll have this topic to try to do the self-check trying to think um is it reasonable for you to to wait but i believe that when something worth the wait um it's definitely worth it you know when something is so very special and you know you can't find somebody like that you know you may have been around for you know 35 45 55 five however many years on this planet but you've never met somebody like that and you've never not only is it you've never met somebody like that but this person and you you both have such such an incredible connection not just you at attention attention <laughs> not just you but you both of you have such wonderful incredible connection that it's makes it worthwhile so oh thank you for the super chat uh let's see what we have here thank you for the super chat bill long distance takes very special effort yes it it, it sure does it sure does um you have to you have to know what you want and you have to make sure that you're on the same page then you are moving in the right direction <laughs> once again you need to know what you want and you've got to make sure you're on the same page then and you have a vision for it right and you know for example in a couple of days we have uh we have um you know it's a valentine's weekend you know and these days for women are always critical because we always look at um you know especially most you know russian ukrainian women i'm going to talk about our culture in a, in a minute but uh we grew up on these fairy tales you know we grew up in these fairy tales and and uh i almost feel that it's, it could be hurtful because you you think that oh my god you know 
uh, it's gonna be so uh, magical, it's gonna be so beautiful. I still believe and I do know that it could be magical and beautiful, but you have to be, as a woman, you have to be strategic and ladies look at the Valentine's Day as a, um, how shall I say that? Ladies look at the Valentine's Day as a um, very crucial, critical day. You know, Valentine's, also 8th of March in Russia and Ukraine, right? Um, her birthday, you know, basically any holiday. But of course, it's sup supposedly a romantic ho holiday. And it's especially important if you are not together. I'll tell you why in a minute. So, ladies looking at this, and this is kind of like a test. Not that they are trying to test you. They did not create the holiday, right? Um, not that they are trying to test you. Not that they, you know, they uh, had created the, the obstacles. No. But they look at it as a test in terms of, you know, what he is going to do. Um, what do I... It's not even a test, but it's kind of... They will consciously and also subconsciously judge how much they mean to you. And, on, and of course, it's so much easier when somebody just next to you. But on the other hand, a lot of men are next to their woman. They, they live with her for days, years, weeks, months. And uh, those ladies may not uh, get... Um, very much recognition so that's another thing you know sometimes you live with a man and you together for a long time and you are disappointed and you are in tears because you know he forgot he didn't you know so that's a whole different story but when you are in a long distance it's a lot harder so it takes a lot of creativity it takes a lot of effort and it really shows you know how dedicated you are and you know we all have this saying that oh you know that's the thought that counts and that is true sometimes you know the other person have also obstacles you know maybe they have a crazy work schedule maybe they are also somewhere far away you know whatever challenges they have but um i would say the thought definitely counts but also your creativity, your dedication, you know, the way you make things happen, uh, this counts as well. And once again, it's not that your lady is sitting there and trying to judge you. It's just she is kind of a vulnerable, sensitive um, situation where she is observing you what you're going to do you know are you gonna go the minimum route you know the bare minimum uh are you going to be preparing the months ahead are you going to uh looking for something very special and uh do the best you can you know maybe even you know overly special that you're not even supposed to you know send a, a gift that's special but you just so inspired and you just want her to know how much you mean to her that um you do some things over the top but everything counts i would say and when you're long distance it's it is vulnerable and you know sometimes ladies have uh you know mothers sisters girlfriends they would say oh you know uh this long distance thing not gonna work you know uh you don't need this it's very it's very um sacred uh, and very intimate process between two people you know emotionally they have it's almost like they made a commitment they may have not even talked about it but they they had made a commitment in between them and inside of them they are following and they are developing trying to make magic happen so that is really your time to shine if you want to make something if you if you know you really well and you know what is that that will make you feel special we all have different languages of love and uh 
um, if you claim that that is your lady, that you probably by now know what it is. And hopefully, hopefully that um, you put some thought to it and some effort and she will have a happy Valentine's Day. Of course, when you're long distance, it's hard to have fully happy Valentine's Day because you are not physically together. But she may celebrate with you when there is an opportunity right but she she will have a very happy valentine day when she knows she received uh some love from you you know in whatever shape or form you know you guys know i was thinking to do a gift uh video maybe i will i know um as there is more more holidays are coming in, you guys need to remember about 8th of March because it's really important. <laughs> so maybe I will make this video. It will be just for, you know, all the special holidays. If you're not together, I can share a little bit. But um, I believe that everything is more sensitive and you're more vulnerable when it is long distance because... Um, for simple reason that you can't just do what regular couples do but you also have your reasoning for it because it is so um you have your reasoning for doing that and in those difficult moments you have to remind yourself you know why am i um doing carrying the heavy stones you know going through the challenges you have to always remind yourself why and if your why is real big and strong it should it should help you to make it through right and i think very not so many people in this life um are blessed to meet not just to settle you know, a lot of people are desperate and they are ready to settle with just about anybody. Just to not be alone. Especially when you get older, you know. Sometimes, especially with all these holidays and everything. Um, you, you get reminded and with quarantines, you're like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to do... I'm just going to settle, you know, <laughs> whatever that is. But I think that... Um, knowing that when you meet your kind of person and you really truly connect and you have all these wonderful things you are still incredibly blessed because if you follow if you make it through those obstacles you are going to be uh with a person of your dreams and um that is a blessing right and you have this journey for a reason you know it's, it's just really so interesting because um, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but so many, so many people that live, or maybe from your experience when you're better with somebody, or maybe you are with somebody, you know how when people starting to live together and just stay, after a while, just starting to uh, take each other for granted to the point where, you know, they don't even acknowledge any each other anymore, they don't talk anymore, they don't... Um, they are really physically present, but they are so, it's pretty much um, like brother-sister relationship or um, not soulmates, roommates, soulmates, uh, roommates. Um, and they just don't talk anymore. You don't spend time anymore. Um, but when you go through long distance, you are a lot less likely to ever take the person you always for granted. Seriously. I mean, there is no immunization against it, but you are a lot less likely to take the person you love for granted when um, you've been in a long distance. You just have so much appreciation that you can just hug them and spend time with them and just, uh, it's just a magical, beautiful thing. So I just wanna say it and 
and uh yes you may sometimes feel oh my gosh you know god give me some strength to go through it but um you may be still happier in your anticipation and doing what you need to do you may be still happier than the person next door is that you know like in the evening she's on her computer he's on his computer children are on their ipads and there is nothing it looks like a happy family but there is really no um there is no real love connection and romance so i just want to share that with you is that you know don't feel so you know try to focus on what you can do how you can show her now um how you can surprise you and i know it's very difficult to surprise when somebody in a different country and also you know the post sometimes oh my gosh i've been having so much trouble with post 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 uh, especially usps services you know with my other business it's been insane but uh we have fedex which works better and uh also don't be shy i'm just gonna give this advice if that is really your lady and she really means something to her don't be shy to just send her uh, if you can't do that you know some kind of uh, a little extra cash gift because you're not there and she can you know do something that she doesn't she wouldn't generally do she can spoil herself she can feel like um you are taking care of her and you want her to spoil herself you know before you can do it <clears throat> excuse me before you can do it with her together so don't of course you have to feel it you know please don't come after me and say veronica recommended me to <laughs> to um you know uh <clears throat> send uh money some stranger or something like that but no do, don't say that please but um if that is somebody special somebody that you want to surprise and i know it is it is also difficult to um was even with all these delivery services to be creative and make sure it gets there on time so if you can do a cash gift on time that's a wonderful gift too it is i would agree that when you live in with a woman you know or you are seeing her cash gift could appear sometimes oh he just doesn't want to be bothered but on the other hand some ladies prefer a cash gift or a gift card so they can go and you know enjoy at their own time they can you know splurge on something or you know whatever is on their list you know we always have something right <laughs> um ladies look at your love you love your words only make sense when they are followed up with action right for us if you have all this beautiful you know oh, you know your but there is not no following up sooner or later they realize that okay this is just words anybody can make a compliment which compliments are wonderful but when it's a compliment from your supposedly very special person then um when that compliment is followed up with action that's power right there especially you stand out on uh you know when you have all these wishy-washy men and all these men who not sure about their feelings and you know all this uh, all this madness that's going on right now uh you will definitely stand out that you sh you show that you care and um that's what you do you show that somebody matters to you especially that a woman matters to you by um investing your time effort and uh if you're far away supporting her in the ways that uh you can while you're far away so you know once again it's not something embarrassing it's not a bad gift because uh that's <clears throat> that's sometimes the best because imagine you went through the trouble and you're getting her something 
that not even gonna get their own time and it's not even something that she likes so this is very individual if you if you consider that lady special hopefully you know more about her so anyhow enough <laughs> i'm gonna see what you guys have been writing i hope my beautiful pencil will work oh yes it does oh this is so nice it's working okay uh welcome everybody all right i have so many messages i'm gonna read them all um yes edward anderson edward anderson is saying hello veronica it seemed to me that ukrainian and russian women are very romantic like cinderella romantic yes very very true but you know it's almost it's almost painful because when you are cinderella romantic it's almost everything will be a disappointment unless you meet a man who is that romantic and on the same page with you yeah and especially in this in this uh, day and age you know when we we have this you know popular culture pushed on us you know the so-called hookup culture is be becoming popular and, and and it's like it's just such a frustration of everything for a woman that is um you know that is like made of dreams and have this beautiful um she's she grew up on these stories on on cinderella and different princesses and so on and so forth so yes um it is true <laughs> Okay, um, so yes, Edward, you got that right. <laughs> uh, some Ukrainian ladies do not understand their part in that effort, unfortunately. Um, I don't know, what do you mean? Uh, what do you think uh bill what do you think they should understand and what is according to you their effort feminine women do not put effort um in terms of the way men do but if you tell me what you mean i can comment on that so um uh, Edward is saying, I agree, love is not measured by proximity. There is nothing more lonely than sitting next to someone who does not love you. Oh my God. Can I get an amen on that one? That is so true. I would much rather be in a long distance when I know that I'm loved and, and cherished. And, and uh, it's, it's genuine and real, but you have to be passionate patient and you know you have 100% trust and peace then but you feel their love even thousands of miles away because they create magic in your life over the there is nothing there is literally nothing worse than being lonely and uh being with somebody who does not love you or you know you're just not connected with and you're with them that is the worst that is the worst thing in life that is absolute worse because you feel that you are dying every day a little bit. Um, another thing is sometimes being by yourself on, you know, or not having somebody special on Valentine's Day is not the difference that not having someone special on a regular day. Because holidays only happens once in a while, your regular life happens every day. So if you only remembers that oh you know it didn't happen this year um if you only remember that so that's a, your only problem that you think about it once a year you probably don't need anybody but if in you every day you know that you would love to create something meaningful you know then that should be a concern and you should be working toward it, you know, not just once a year. Oh, you know, it would be nice, but oh, well, it means that you don't really need it, you know. I was watching this funny prank 
and it was so funny because it was a prank for Valentine's Day. Uh, it was a guy, but he was copying a girl, and he was at the chocolate section, and uh, um, he was just he opened the chocolate box right at the store and he started to eating the chocolates and he would just munch on the on the chocolates and getting them in and he was like well 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 i didn't catch my special uh you know my special valentine this year but you know what i'm gonna eat this all of this candy so i'll be a bigger target next year <laughs> he actually said i'm gonna be a bigger target next year isn't that funny? Oh my god. Yeah, he said, he, he, what did he say? Yeah, that's what he said. Like, no worries. I'll be more noticeable and the Cupid, you know, will have the arrow. <laughs> will be, I'll be easier to catch next year. So that was, that was pretty funny. <laughs> but, um, I mean, it's all relative. Honestly, you know what's interesting? For me, I'm going to tell you something, guys. Some, something that how a lot of ladies look at this. And myself included. I feel that when you are in a relationship with a man that treats you well every single day, every single day he does amazing things for you. You know, he's stable, he's consistent, he treats you very, very well. Because it takes a lot of effort to make regular days, you know, just full of joy and peace and and understanding and giving each other time you know m most ladies are uh you know likely to not even be that concerned what's going to happen on you know on christmas or, or valentine's yes of course every girl you know there is a princess and every girl and every girl want to be surprised and things like this but when you turn into a woman and uh when your man treating you well every single day, this is already magic. You know, when he, when he is there, when you are sick, when he is not getting bored with you, when you, uh, you know, when he sees you every day, you know, when he knows your uh, downsides, you know, when he knows your bad moods, your mood swings, your attitudes, when he has to deal, he, he really knows you, uh, he still loves you anyway that is major miracle that is major miracle now personally i am you know i am and ladies like who are truly deeply romantic of course they are still dreaming to have some you know very special things you know adventures and surprises when you are you know after you know five seven ten years of marriage but i truly believe that for actual long-term relationship it is just a sweet bonus, but um, how somebody treats you during, you know, Tuesdays and Wednesdays and, you know, cold, gray winter days and, and you know, ladies know what I mean by mood swings and stuff like that. When, when you have somebody who is there, um, when you're not looking pretty and when you are sad and you're in tears, over time, that truly becomes gold. But in the beginning, we just, guys, we just made this way in the beginning that little things and gifts and uh, your generosity means so much because somehow we think that if you're generous in the beginning, you know, if you are thoughtful with things you do for us, if you're generous, if all of that is happening then you will have enough of love for us when we are not that pretty you know not that polished and maybe sad you know maybe going through all kinds of things um somehow you know it's not it's, it's funny because it's not necessarily the case but this is what ladies think especially uh, ladies who are very romantic, they think that, oh, you know, um, if he now is on the peak of love and attraction toward me, 
and he, he really cares he wants a fairy tale <laughs> he will do these wonderful amazing things for me and it means that he will be there you know later on but it's really funny because it's not often it's not the case at all because um lots of men in russian and ukrainian culture i don't know if anybody listening any girls are listening from russian and ukrainian culture unfortunately our men are outstanding at courting they could give master class how to court like i can write a book you know when i was in college when i was uh, you know just a young girl you know exploring the world the kind of things that men do but the problem is when things become normal that all goes out of the window so when i'm consulting ladies from um russia or ukraine or other um ladies who reaching out to me maybe dating a russian man or you know or having questions about american men i always say listen some american men are a little bit reserved till they get to know you when they get to know you if they really are into you they will invest in you they will treat you well it just it's just a difference of culture but a lot a lot of them are longer in the game meaning they are longer they are more focused and the more they know you the more they will do for you but in our culture it's reversed so when you are not extremely romantic and generous in the beginning our mind tells us oh this man is not gonna you know probably going to um be on the couch the, the rest of our relationship because in the peak time he shows so little and it's really the the other way around very often because um men start to really take you feel more comfortable um do special things for you as things evolve here but i'm sharing this with you not to tell you what you need to do but just so you are aware how russian and ukrainian women think how feminine women think um i have been here for over a decade and i still think this way even though i do with my mind understand but for me it has to be you know uh this is the cinderella magic and and, and fairy tales that's just something that's always there well, maybe with a little touch of maturity at this point, but um, it's almost like you have to go back to 50s, 40s, I don't know, 60s and think how things were back then, you know, the romance and things like that and apply it into modern days with a little bit of a twist, I guess. Um, I don't know, but... I just want you to be aware that your lady may misjudge you and think, um as if you are not all in if you're trying to be very reasonable you know giving her practical things you know being uh, very careful i'm not advising you to not being careful but i'm just telling you that she she may think you're not that interested and that's it <laughs> all right let me read some of your comments y'all um <laughs> so yeah edward that was your comment when you said that love is not measured by proximity there is nothing more lonely than six uh, than sitting next to someone who doesn't love you yes and, i mean i attest to that 100 percent um eighth of march is your birthday ross well good but it doesn't mean uh that you should not do something special for your lady guys put 8th of march in your calendar oh thank you wins thank you for the super chat thank you for some tea thank you so much i appreciate it wait what did i just do nothing <laughs> um let's see um terry men shouldn't forget but always be planning next treat ahead of time right not just you know not just next treat but i think 
I think the long distance can be survivable when you have a plan. I'm going to say this again. You can make it through long distance and you can make it on top. You can be doing great when you have vision and when you have a plan. And I know not always you have everything right away, but depends on your situation. You can see next step and step after that and step after that you can move toward that right thank you for the kind words everybody i appreciate it i feel like i haven't been here forever but it may be only been one week um i'm thinking i will tell you i will make a separate video probably on um the russian to the russian you it's more like russian classic literature idea of love i think it's gonna be a different video so this is just gonna be long distance valentines because we are already 40 minutes in um oh that's so <laughs> That is really um, thoughtful. Terry is saying, I have been considering walking in women's shoes. <laughs> oh, you mean literally? Just make sure nobody sees you. <laughs> just to feel and gain some knowledge of how they think. Well, I hope you didn't mean literally just, you know, in her shoes in, in terms of mentally and emotionally. I do think that we always should try to put ourselves in each other's shoes, you know. Uh, sometimes, um, you need to remind yourself real hard to do that. You may not be able to exactly feel what the other person feels, but just trying to get into their shoes. That will also open their heart and their, um, desire to feel how is it to be in your shoes, you know? I started to take, uh, talking to ladies a little bit more now and I had my first uh, um, emails that I received from different ladies and a lot of them um, also have this idea that things are easy for men and I would say that uh, it's not a competition and we have challenges in a different way. We We all have a lot of challenges, a lot of responsibilities I would not ever say, even though I'm not a man in any size, shape, or form, but I can say 100% that things are not easier for men. They are, they're just different. And uh, sometimes men uh, do not deal with pressure as well as some women do. But once again, when you try to step into each other's shoes, magic happens because the other person's heart opens up because... Just because you even, that you even try to understand them. That you even make an attempt to understand them. Notice when you show empathy to somebody and you say, you know, that must have been hard. Or this must have been challenging. You know, when you say it from the heart, you know, whatever they're going through, that this must be difficult. Or I, I really understand. But you have to really mean it. Because if you're just saying it, you don't mean it, it's not going to work. But when you try, when you get in someone's shoes and you acknowledge what they must be feeling, even though, remember, you can always be off. Don't try to make a statement. But when you just bring that up, you will see the person will open up because they will see you, that you would see them and you have the effort to try to see what's in their heart. You know, you empathize. You know, we have the saying, uh, old Slavic saying that, when you share happiness, it multiplies. When you have a happy news, you just call in everybody, you're excited, it multiplies because you share your happiness, you know, you kind of give this virus of a happy news. But when you are going through pain, loss, or whatever as a hardship, and you call a true friend, and then just, and they just have empathy, they just say the simple phrase like, I understand. And when they really mean it, you almost feel like you have this heavy stone and it falls, falls down from your shoulders. You feel that, you know, you feel twice as light. So we say that empathy, you know, happiness um, 
multiplies and empathy true empathy take half the load so it elevates you not pity but empathy it's completely different uh will classic literature include poetry well yeah i mean it includes everything classic literature includes everything but i just want to share with you what kind of idea of love we had when we grew up and what we considered love it's and a lot of people still consider that love but you know some of us had evolved and they know that certain things that are presented in movies and books has nothing to do with love it has a lot more to do with lust passion and things like that in russian culture it's a lot of tragedy and 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 you know the fate and all of that and and you know i'm learning through my own journey that true love has nothing to do with tearing somebody's heart and you know walking on your toes and not sleeping at night and uh have very very strong you know sexual connection and passion like when that is the first thing it's gonna burn it's going to burn so fast so quick because that is a natural that's a plan of nature to to get us all together before we learn about each other to make sure that the life on this planet will continue so when you start your relation with passion and and fire and things like this I know it feels amazing and I think that everybody should at least once or twice in life in life go through it I will not uh deny that that it's like an incredible drug and it's you know there is nothing like it but usually that's not going to be your long term because you didn't get to know this person and you just you just head over heels and the chemistry and the you cannot take a decision especially when you both of people have extreme sexual chemistry you cannot think you can, you have no idea what the hell is going on you're ready to sell your 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 soul to devil just to be with this person it's like obsession it's madness so um but this is not love <laughs> this is passion uh obsession um what else um lust i don't know everything 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 excitement but this is not love love is something completely different and you know we had to kind of learn on our own to that oh okay so love is you can you can have passion and all of these things with love but love is something much deeper yeah infatuation thank you that was the word it's infatuation but love is some, something much deeper much more calm much more peaceful and yet it's amazing it's like a never it's like a never-ending ocean and you feel you just feel very comfortable you're not scared you're not anxious you're not yes you have i mean you may have your moments but you overall you have peace and trust and joy um yes you know you you may go through different roller coasters and you you may have this hormonal bliss but it's best if it doesn't start from that if that part starts you know uh along the way because usually usually everything that starts super fast and it's just it's like you know fireworks bomb but then it's over so i'm just sharing i will make a separate video about i will tell you about some characters and some um images that you know we all were learning a lot of uh old russian um classic novels and there were specific you know 
um, heroes or you know specific uh, images of people that we saw that were representing love and um, honestly I love novels but uh, this is not love it's tragedy and love love should multiply inspire uplift just do miracles love should not uh, true love does not tear your heart apart if somebody is not into you you have to forgive them and move on but when some when somebody loves you truly they're not gonna tear you apart oh uh, you know jim friendship is part of it definitely uh i think that all good things you know when you met somebody and your relationship is um based on friendship that is wonderful because you know in the worst case scenario you're gonna be back to be friends again you know what i mean because men who marry for passion for love to have a trophy to have you know a woman to show uh most of them when things go sideways they are not in a good situation because so is women women trust me women also sometimes marry for luke and for you know physique and for certain sexual things women also marry for passion as well and you know then when you are separating or even you have breakups or you have any moments like this you realize that you have nothing in common with this person you never even knew them i feel like i need a cigar like a low cigar. I don't know why I'm holding this. I'm so excited about my Apple Pencil. Because uh, I like when my uh, screen is clean. And you know, when you touch it with your... You, it's just... It, you know, it's never... Um, it's never perfect. So... And I just think it's elegant. What did you just say? Excuse me? I feel like... Yeah, I'm either a teacher and this is you know how we, they had these desks when you write I'm either a teacher or it's like a, this long cigar not cigar I forgot how you call this decadent thing when you smoke <laughs> no do not smoke I forgot in English how you call this long um, in Russia it's called munstuk. you have this long accessory and you put your long cigar on it and it's like decadent but no, um, that's only for elegance. Do not smoke. <laughs> yeah, but there is a name for us for cigarette holder, I think. But anyhow, let's not talk about bad habits here. I'm just like... I've been working on my uh, photography and um, being creative. And I do a lot of retro stuff. So I'm always looking for ideas. Always looking for ideas. <laughs> but anyway, what was I talking about? Yeah, okay, I, I remember now. Okay, so Jim is saying, hi, Jim, good to see you, my friend, welcome. Jim is saying, my ex and I believed we loved each other and waited until marriage to, before sex. He, here is the thing. Um, it's not necessarily a bad thing um, or a bad idea to not become, uh, to, to wait with intimacy because when you start with that, um, you can't your brain especially if it's really good or epic your brain you cannot think and that includes women too because your your hormones your emotions you can't really think it through so especially you know when you know somebody for a long time that is one thing when you when you know somebody for a long time uh some sometimes you know nature just takes its course course but i think that 
uh, you may, you're doing yourself a favor when you take time to get to know the person because you don't know whether you are a man because ladies are watching me too whether you are a man or a woman when you jump into intimacy with a man you don't know what kind of problems you will invite into your life so take your time you know it's it's supposed to be a little bit more of a process than modern culture is trying to present us you know we don't open the doors of our home to somebody that we've never you know we don't know you don't open the door of your home so why would you open your if you're a woman why would you open your sacred body for somebody that you're not sure about that is why i'm so dissatisfied with these things that they preach uh you know on this all you know liberal uh outlets about you know just freedom and you know and do whatever you want and my question is well will you be there if this woman will do whatever she wants will you support her um and also will she be valued and ever be cherished and ever be um happy truly because women who do whatever they want they may have fun but they will um if they don't do things right and, and with their using their mind and realizing their value they will never be seen as such they will never be respected they will never be valued and cherished and all of that when you don't value yourself and you're available for everyone uh there is no one to appreciate you i have mostly men on my chat today i think and i have a question to you how often do you value somebody that is available to everyone oh i forgot i have my elegant pencil all right okay guys uh we are coming up on hours so if you have any questions ask me i'm glad so yeah i i didn't say um i didn't say guys that i was going on vacation i just needed to uh take a little time off and um uh, i probably you know will try to post or go live every other day during the week you know once in a while you may have a surprise like on a weekend um you know maybe i'll pop here and there in a video on the weekend but i just really need to have my personal life on the weekend so um and rest and all of that but i'm thinking my schedule is going to be that every other day during the week such as you know monday wednesday friday you will either see an upload for me or a live video we'll try to do it so it's going to be about three videos a week and maybe a little extra here and there so i just each time i say oh i'm gonna go live on this day there is always something happens so i'm not gonna say it um because when i do not deliver what i say it makes me very uptight and anxious but i also have my personal life and uh i'm helping some of you behind the scenes and i i also need to practice what i preach you know what kind of uh um what kind of person I would be talking about relationships and things like that if I don't have anything in my life going on. So in order for my life to be uh, fulfilled um, and be able to bring you these insights, uh, they, they have to be a little bit more time off. Because otherwise it will defeat the purpose you don't want to ask you know talk to somebody about certain things that have nothing going on in their own life but when i go on a real vacation or i'm taking a big break from youtube i will definitely let you know all right you know because it may be a time when i will need to take a month or for like two weeks off or you know whatever you will notice it and i would not want to be that long but i also think when you 
recharge you bring new energy all right we have somebody new here on the chart let me read some more messages um edward i will consider making a video on that that is a good question that you ask um it's becoming a cliche that Slavic women are still traditional while Western American women are all feminist. Uh, that's not true. You know, and you know, it's it's really a stereotype and there is some truth in that, but it's a huge, you know, I have been meeting uh, so many ladies here in the United States and a lot of them are not into being a feminist. A lot of them are also struggling because... Um, they want a traditional relationship so i wouldn't say that but the question is good i may consider uh talking about that by the way do i have my moderators could somebody drop my patreon uh and my email um please i don't know who is on the computer um let's see Leah, welcome Leah. I presume you're new. Okay, let's see what Leah is saying. I see far more older men struggling uh, or falling in hell alone than older women with kids. You know, Leah, that is interesting. Uh, I okay, so there are some uh, movements right now on YouTube that you know make fun of, of older women and say, Oh, you not even older women, even you know, young active women that oh, you are. Uh, you're gonna die alone, you're gonna die alone, you know, you're old, you're this, I mean, uh, and you know, Leah, I have to, to say this, that uh, it is um, um, absolutely unfair, and it's actually statistically not true, I don't want anybody to die alone, I just want to make it clear, I don't want anybody to be unhappy, I think that every person can have friendships and love, and all of this, but um statistically more men are ending up alone um i i feel especially well women generally live longer number one women generally live longer and women usually have less um you know if they take care of themselves, they are less likely to get heart disease and strokes and heart attacks. Men seem to be more likely on that side. But it also depends on your health and everything. But overall, it is quite unfair when, you know, men making all these videos and saying, you're going to die alone. You know, especially men who advocate for, uh, you know, men going their own way uh, and all of that. And, you know, women are horrible. So men who do not commit men who do not want to have children men who do not want to have long-term relationships men that hate hating women but just in general unfortunately i'm not happy you know i love men and i love women i love both i i want to see everybody finding what they're looking for but um uh women still live longer john uh but listen it doesn't matter um in statistically, uh, uh, men are more likely to um, be alone. Because even if the woman is not married, even so, even if she didn't have children, she usually have some nephews, nieces, girlfriends, you know, cats, dogs. Women are just more social. And usually, you know, women, you know, uh, so a lot of these men make fun of, you know, single women or or um, single mothers or women who never had children. Like, they always have a problem. If you're a woman, they hate you. That's, I've, I've, I've noticed that. If you are, you are, you are young, you are, I'm not going to say here on YouTube, if you are old, it's like, it's crazy. Like, you can't win. But in general, women, I feel that women are just, we are more sociable. And so for, for you guys... Uh, who are on the fence about what you want to do with your life, just think about the future. Just think about the future. You know, these men who are so cool right now, 
this uh, NGTOW man, uh, look at them in about 20, 30 years, 40 years. They will have nobody because they don't want to have children and so they want to get married. But they also deny women as a partner, as a companion, right? So um, if you deny that women could be a good partner, companion, things like that, uh, you won't be able to get women when you get older unless you pay them. But that's, I don't count that. So I don't count that. So yeah, statistically, you know, I made, I may make a video on this whole die alone thing. This is so weird. It's just, it's, it's a, such a terrible thing to say anyway. And, uh, the truth is, um, with the modern movement, with the hookup culture, uh, everyone will die alone because people do not want to put effort in relationships. And men seem to be struggling with commitment and a lot of women don't know what they want. So But women are just more, I'm just saying in general, I have not met all the women on the planet, but in general, women are more chatty, women are more sociable, w women are better with connecting, with, you know, having friends and, and girlfriends and like children and grandchildren is like, like that. So, but let's focus on the positive on this channel. Nobody should die alone. So think about it now. <laughs> You know, life is unpredictable, but you can do everything to create meaningful relationships. And you know, and another thing is this. If you have to be miserable, you can be miserable in a relationship and still die alone. You understand? You can be, you can put 30 years of being in a relationship with somebody and still die alone because they, they are going to leave you, for example. So do not be with somebody because out of fear. You know? <laughs> okay, how did we get to this point? Well... What I mean, Jim, yes, you know, when you're dying, it's just, it's just you are dying one. But it's nice to be surrounded by somebody you love. And that is a very sensitive topic. And, you know, I honestly do not wish uh, pain and loneliness to nobody. And I think that... Everybody should decide for themselves what they want. You have to have a vision of what you want. And and family takes a lot of dedication. You know, you cannot be selfish and always do what you want to do. You have to adjust your plans. You know, you have to go and do things. Sometimes you do not want to be doing. But when you love people in your family, when you have love in your heart, it's not the struggle. It's a joyful ride. Yeah, Leah, I don't know. I, I really don't know. It's really terrible. Um, and, um, you know, makes me think about some people that I know that, um, you see, when you're young or younger or active, being by yourself is freedom and fun. But when you go to elderly age, that's a different story. And, um, you know, you just, you, you can only do what depends on you, you know, being loving to um, people around you. And you will always have friends and community. That's all you can do. We all can get better at having friends and community. And um, 
connections with our family. Okay, how did we get through what I was talking about to this? <laughs> Frank is saying, my problem with MGTOW is that they always talk about how they will get young women in their 50s <laughs> when they have money. Probably true, but you'll be too tired to keep up with them. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, What can I tell you, Frank? Good luck. Good luck with that. When you are, when you are trying to, um, <laughs> I can't. Can I not comment on that? I'm. I'm just gonna say good luck. Um, a lot of uh, MGTOW men think that uh, you know, young women just can't sleep at night but think about them, but it's not true. Another thing, if till your 50s you've never been in a fulfilling, loving relationship, you will not be able to create it. You will not be able to create and the women you're going to be with will leave you unsatisfied because uh, young women, I mean, there are some young women that are attracted to older men. I mean, it does exist, it does take place, but it's only some. A, a lot of the women, they will, um, they won't be able to give uh, these men anything because they're there for another reason. So, I don't know. Um, Mikta men are too emo emotional for me. They are so much in their trauma, in their emotion that it just, I think they, um, should live their life the way they want to but they're trying to convince everybody else that that's the best life and i don't really think so i think if you are not capable to create good life for yourself it doesn't mean that everybody else is not capable i'm gonna say this again for MGTOW men specifically if you are not capable to create deep and fulfilled and satisfying life for yourself and live your legacy and enjoy your life and you know thrive into you know creating that union if you're not capable that's fine or if you were born for something else that's fine too it's not for everybody but don't tell others that they cannot do it because you couldn't that's all A lot of men, just to be cool, they would shove their desires down so just so they look cool and they show no attachment to women. But um, let's just be real. Let's just be real. It's not satisfying. I remember Steve Harvey's episode when he just it was some kind of talk and he just said, listen, he said something like, men is nothing without a woman. And the way he said that, that was powerful. And I know what he meant. It wasn't about self-esteem or anything like that. That was about the connection and joy and relaxation and emotion and the atmosphere and everything so the way he said it i knew exactly what he meant yes always send an odd number of flowers very true odd number in our culture, the even number of flowers means flowers for the funeral. So, odd number of flowers. Yes. Good suggestion. All right. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, exactly. Uh, hello, Chorny Court. Good to see you. Thank you for the email. Uh, it says, I worked hard to to prioritize my kids and family and to be a true friend to my close friends. It's work and it's dedication, yes. But it's the kind of work that pays the finest dividends. And you know what? Sometimes your kids may not be as you expect them and stuff like that. But this is about enjoying that process. You know, they are only five years old once. They are only three years old once. They are only, you know, 12 years old once. So you can't, you don't know how things will turn out. You know, you can have many children and have terrible relationships with all of them. You don't know. But you just do your best. You enjoy the process. You have to have some meaning. Love, usually with children, love come love come back to you. But sometimes in life, you give love, but um, it's, if it's not taken well, it's still given. It's really important. I feel that to give is more important than to receive. At this point in my life, how I feel. Yeah, once time passes, it's gone forever. And that regret going to gonna tear you apart. So <laughs> Frank, you are so funny. <laughs> yes, don't call uh, a European woman under 80 женщина. You know? <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Leah. Truth, uh, good form. Better for your own character to be loving above pettiness. Yeah, you do it. You know, if you think about everything you do in life, you do for you. Right? Everything you do in life, you do for you. Kind things, you think you're doing them for others. If you don't want to do them, don't do not do them. But everything you do, the good things, the generous things, the beautiful things, remember you're doing it for you. Don't ask people to like, oh, thank you for this, you know, thank you for that. Do not worry about it. Do not worry about people, you know, thanking you and worshiping you. If you really want to... Um, if you really want to be to, to have an incredible fulfilled life especially as a man when you give you grow the woman helping you when she's receiving from you because it motivates you to do more to become more you may not even realize it but when you have motivation there are very few men who are depressed uh and sad and upset um when they have somebody they they taken care of they have this inner motivation now to to be more and do more because men are as far as i know men men are pretty simple you know um some men will sleep on a mattress on the floor unless they're about to get married they'll oh i should get a bed you know don't ask me how I know, but there are some men that would sleep on the floor, would eat from, you know, plastic or whatever. Because men don't really, they're not into these details and comfort. But when you have a woman, your life changes. It's becoming a lot more amazing. When you have the right one, of course. Yeah. Yeah, Jim. You, you got my hint. Oh, thank you, Leah. Thank you so much. Thank you for subscribing. I'm actually really happy to have more ladies on my channel because I have, I had like, last time I checked, I think I have like 94 or 93 percent of men. So I'm happy to have more ladies and talking about a lot of things. Um, I want it to be an encouraging place. We can talk about, you know, I can talk about somewhat of Slavic culture, but it's really universal. And um, I'll help you as much as I know from my background. But I just wanted to have more inspiration and more vision. And I wanted to have escape from um, the hookup culture 
to something classical, classy, beautiful, inspiring, uh, something that is worth of your time and something that is um, made with love and effort and when you look back on your life you will realize okay you know i created despite of the times despite of the you know hookup fashion or you know um other influences i had a beautiful life Because I, t I tell you guys, I don't want I don't watch TV, but when I make a crucial mistake and I watch some of the pop culture, I literally want to go back in time in the time machine. <laughs> Hi Petra, good to see you. Good to see you, my friend. Welcome. Uh, good evening. Uh, yes, we women probably started decorating the caves. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. But that's okay. We can decorate. <laughs> right? Decorating is fun. It's, it's just... It's a lot of fun. Oh my god. <laughs> Chernikot says, I remember the first time a woman decorated my cave. It was dramatic. <laughs> it was dramatic. Well, um, honestly, I would not decorate men's cave. I would decorate my room and maybe the living room. But I think that men could have their own... Um, cave and whatever you know yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> terry a relationship is like a mutual fund you need to steadily invest in it so it may grow and still provide you more in the end i guess so yeah you know a lot of men uh think that they see a beautiful woman and they are in love but when you just see a beautiful woman you're not in love you're in lust you don't know anything about her and uh you don't fall in love you grow in it you develop it and um, you go through a lot of stages and conflict and pain before you actually fall in love. So it is a, it is a fund. It is a, uh, you know, it is like, it is a major investment. It is a major investment. And when two people come with open hearts and they're trying to do their best, um, through the years, they become more and more valuable for each other. Oi. Oh my gosh. Okay, I became... We're talking about retro and I became black and white. I feel like I'm in a, in a retro movie. I'm going to be black and white, guys, for a bit. It's really interesting. I love black and white, actually. My, sorry, guys. My mascara is... It's end of the day and it's... Um, chips off. Need a new mascara. You guys don't know women's problem. Ladies, you understand. You know how mascara sometimes just... Uh, start to, to powder. I think I need a new one. <laughs> <laughs> But it's okay. Yeah, guys, you know, if if um, you would only know how, how many things we need to take care of every single day to look effortlessly beautiful. <sighs> Ladies in the chat, 
who put a lot of effort to look effortlessly beautiful? <laughs> Raise your hand. Put one in the comments. Oh, thank you, Leah. I, I love black and white too. I accidentally pushed the black and white button. I'm gonna leave it. I just love. I feel like I'm in a Hollywood movie. Um. Thank you, David. David is saying, um, um, hello, Veronica. Don't watch. I don't watch your show as much as I should, but when I do, I learn more. I appreciate you. Thank you, David. Uh, no, I'm not more serious. I just like black and white. And I accidentally made it black and white. I don't know. I just love black and white. I don't know. I was born in the wrong century. In the wrong century. Yes. Petra saying absolutely every day. <laughs> every day. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, guys, I have to tell you that um, women put effort, but it's a different effort than you do. You know, we put effort in our mental state, in our mood, um, in our looks, in being creative, in showing affection and being able to listen to you, to give you a hug, um, to, to give you that affection and support. Um, but also to take care of ourselves, you know, it's a lot, it's a lot, you know, it's interesting because I felt like, um, ha you know, women who, um, taking care of themselves they always go such an extra mile and everything you know extra extra mile but i feel that ladies who are feminine and who are really inspiring not only they put themselves in a good position you know energetically and vibrationally in in all the other ways psychologically emotionally but they also inspire others you know when i do something and i ran into a beat person or smiley person or you know beautiful person inspiring woman or some or something like that it's always lifting up your mood your day you know you decide oh you know maybe i should go put the red scarf or maybe i should go and do black and white you know vogue style photo shoot you know it's just like it, it's creativity is something that we are born with as women but when we are struggling and we have to solve men men's problem and mask we are getting on our masculine to be problem solvers this is where we lose our magic and we can't really create as much magic man i i need to have a black and white photo shoot <laughs> terry thank you <laughs> thank you so much i appreciate it i i love black and white too but once in a while, like, I have guys who would, uh, you know, uh, c uh, you know, comment and say, I hate black and white. I cannot see the color of your eyes and blah, blah. The, my videos are not for, for you guys to see the color of your eyes or of anybody's eyes. We're just having fun. So anyhow, I was thinking about this. So I'm thinking about... I'm going to try to record or upload, you know, every other day during the week. You know, sometimes they may be more, sometimes they might be less. I want, when I make a video or I make a live show, I want to be able to really, you know, speak and share uh, and connect with you guys. So sometimes you need to get a little bit of a break. So you have time to digest my content and uh, the videos and things like that. And oh my God, thank you. Thank you, Brianna B. This is so cool on, on this black and white, having like a yellow uh, color. It's just like, wow. Thank you, Brianna B. Sometimes I see them right away. Sometimes I see them a lot later than you guys see them. So don't think that I ever ignore your uh, chats or messages. It just sometimes happens like that. Thanks, Brianna B. 
uh, just doing my part to support the sister. Love you. <laughs> I feel like I'm back east and relaxing. She chat again. I subscribe and love you message. Well, thanks, Brianna B. I appreciate it. Thank you for brightening up my day and happy Valentine's. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, you know, somebody uh, sent me an email and said, you know, Veronica, I understand how sick and tired you are sometimes of us. And I'm like, I'm not sick and tired of you. Uh, it's just that you need sometimes to have a break. So you can come and bring something, bring your energy, you know, bring something positive, right? So sometimes that I feel that I am tired and introverts do get tired of people. That is true. So don't cross boundaries with introverts. You want to do something nice for them, do it and leave them alone. Give them time to get back to you. Uh, so sometimes you get overwhelmed with that. But overall, when you feel you're tired of people or circumstance, it just means that you you are you are tired and you need to rest. Right? But anyhow, thank you. I forgot what I was talking. Who, who can remind me what I was what was I sharing before that? I don't remember. But any anyway, happy Valentine's and thank you so much. Okay, I'm gonna put some bubbles. Can I put some bubbles? Before I get to black and white again, you can see my red. This is red. Oh, Brianna B, check this out. You see this little bee over here? That could be just for you. No, you're fine. It's our regular two-hour chat, so welcome. I don't know, guys, if if I'll be able to, I'll I'll have during the weekend, but I think. Um, this is weekend for love and self love and also uh, celebration of love. So you know my message already, but I will remind you if you don't remember it. Nobody need to find love. You don't look and like I need to find love. I need to find love. Love is not something you find. Love is something that lives inside of every single one of us. The friends we have the people that uh we um meet uh men and women and all of that all of the people around us they are byproduct of the love that we already have you know whether you are in relationship you are single you are dating you are engaged uh you know whatever situation you are even if you're nearly divorced i want to tell everybody who is maybe just got divorced or something like that you are source of love you already have love inside of you whether you are a guy or whether you are a man or a lady you don't the the media and and everybody makes us think that we need to go and look for love you we already have love and fulfillment inside of us we already have it but People that we meet are byproduct of our love. Love is energy. Yes, love is energy. Exactly. Love is energy. And uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful energy uh, that, that we have. And um, when we meet people, they're just a byproduct of our love. Oh my God. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. I, I still have my bubbles on. <laughs> oh, Petra, thank you so much. You are so sweet. Thank you so much for a super chat. And Petra is saying, thank you for your uplifting family and work. Oh, thank you. I was, this is my first, um, you know, couple of appreciative, uplifting messages back from ladies as um, before the last couple of weeks, I mostly have gentlemen watching my show so thank you so much for this this is so inspiring thank you and i have another super chat uh let's see from uh from bill i think yeah thank you again thank you so much um veronica are the feelings temperatures restricting 
what can can you translate what you said Bill I'm not sure if I understand oh oh you want to have a snow video freezing yeah it's it's very very cold this weekend we're gonna have probably record cold weather for those of you who are new guys i am in michigan currently and i do love winter i do not like it all the time but i do like real winter i do not like rain in winter no 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 please please so we have finally we have real winter that we were hoping to get for christmas but we are getting it for valentine's day so if you if you ask me whether i will record the video well possibly i'm still gonna do do my random out and about videos once in a while um i'm addicted to you just how some of you are addicted to my channel <laughs> i want to thank again for for those of you who reach out to me and decided that or you know something is happening or uh I I am dedicated and I enjoy doing this work uh, so much for you guys. So when I have moments, I will definitely pop here and there, out and about, maybe in the snow. Uh, the problem is when it's really snowing, um, it may not be so good for your phone. So <laughs> sometimes it's challenging, but I will try. I do not promise this weekend, but we shall see. Or um thank you, Brianna. Uh, I have I have not really been on my email. I was taking a week off uh everything pretty much. So I will look into it. Thank you. Or oh, thank you, Petra. Yes, I'm looking forward to the two for life with mina yeah i just i love your energy so much she's such a beautiful person and um i need to figure out the technical part of that as well so um what was i saying before you guys start showering me with love <laughs> this is what love does you all you have a message and you just you just feel so uplifted and so in the mo in the moment but ladies, ladies, I have a message to the ladies. Okay, Valentine message. Doesn't matter if you have a significant other or not. A lot of times, as ladies, they get very upset at our man because we want them to know every single sacred, uh, specific thing we want in order to feel happy on Halloween, on Christmas, on birthday, and so on and so forth. And one most incredible thing I've learned is that it is so important that we give that thing to ourselves. <laughs> you know, if you have something clear, you, you want to ask your, your, your man, your husband, you admire, uh, you know, some ladies have boyfriends, if you have something specific, men are pretty good with getting a specific message, right? Men are pretty good with getting a specific message, right? But what do we do? We hoping that they would figure out exactly little thing that we love, exactly like just and that they will deliver it to us. So I would say one of the most incredible things that as women we can learn is to make sure we deliver that we bring that pleasure to ourselves that we either ask if we need some component to it but we find a way to fulfill that gap that void ourselves when we are doing it men around us or our men learn oh Oh, that's easy. I know how. I know what she likes. You know, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna help her. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna do these things. Or, but the 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 issue is that women a lot of times 
are completely capable in taking themselves out to lunch. Ladies are completely capable of blocking out two hours, you know, making their bath stop, making home um, spa, going with their girlfriends, buying little things they don't need, like, you know, earrings with, you know, roses and um, bees. But you just need to turn that magic key in your ignition. You have to sometimes, you, you have to do it so the man can learn. But it's very interesting. Of course, we want to enjoy things that men give us. But unless we're generating that joy... Men are not truly motivated. They don't even know what to do. And even if they would do something for us, we would find 10 things wrong with their gifts. You know, we would find 10 things wrong with this or that. So ladies, self-love is always mutual. Self-love is always mutual. So don't forget that about... I would say about 90% of the things you want, you can already enjoy. Or you can create that feeling and you have to brew in it. You have to generate that joy. It's, Mina loved my expression on joy generator. When you generate joy, it's a lot easier for a man to add to your joy. But in order to start that momentum, you have to create it yourself. Oh, thank you. Talking about joy and and uh, appreciation. Thank you, uh, Jim. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for this generous super chat. And thank you for... Uh, oh, that is so sweet. Uh, Jim is saying you really have been a blessing in my life. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate um I appreciate the kind words. Thank you. I feel the same um so I have some members of course that've been here for for longer and um that really means a lot to me. <laughs> because you know there are so many people that create great con content and your loyalty really means a lot to me and New people who come inspire me, you know, really inspire for continuation. So, thank you. <laughs> so, you know, we have Brianna B today because we have bees on this live chat. <laughs> <laughs> we have these symbols. <laughs> um, Jerry Butler is saying, here is a big Texas welcome to all the ladies who have joined the site. <laughs> we may appreciate any and all help to understand the feminine mindset. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Jerry. So, ladies, you are appreciated. I'm very happy to, to have ladies on your channel. And a lot of you ladies who join, you are new. Mm, I have a lot of videos talking about, you know, Russian, Ukrainian, Slavic culture. If you watch these videos, you can still get uh, an insight or some good information or interesting outlook. Just translate Russian and Ukrainian or Slavic into feminine. That's what it means. Our culture is just more traditional kind of like you know Mina her in you know Indian Pakistani culture just more traditional so she could have called her video you know Indian way of doing this but really it's just feminine and traditional so everybody ladies are welcome you're very welcome here
you guys have all kinds of conversation in between you so i don't want to interject or you know interfere yes but petra exactly we can't expect men to be mind readers and this is such a big slavic thing i don't know ladies uh tell me how it is in your experience okay i'm going thank you so much everybody for beautiful super chats i'm going black to black i'm going back to black and white for a minute and i want to say this okay this is serious right now we are definitely expecting man to read our mind who is guilty hello anybody is guilty <laughs> you know like when we sat in a classroom Ta -da, ta -da. i'm so guilty of this it's it's insane but i've learned if i want something in particular and i know that there is a desire on the other side i'm going to hint and things will unfold things will unfold just right because the man that that you know truly is there he will definitely do wonderful things okay but he needs sometimes a hint but we believe that men are mind readers we 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 truly do believe in you know how it is like what's wrong nothing everything is fine Oh my God. <sighs> That's a whole different drama queen video, right? It's, we just such, we just such drama queens. And uh, I'm so guilty on this. I can't even tell you all. Um, it, I, I feel that especially when it comes to conflict or it, when it comes to our desires, um these things that it's somehow exciting for a guy to keep asking us detective like questions questions to see if um you know we'll um open up but yes men are not mind readers and especially with us i think what i the advice i would give my early self would be calm down Calm down. He is not a mind reader. But you can convey how you feel. Just release. Release the pain. You know, release it, relax. And try to form what you want. And you have great chances, great chance to get it. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Leah says, I blame TV and self-esteem issues, right? Oh, hello, Kristen. Good to see you. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome, beautiful. Good to see you. I have to say, though, um, sometimes you are with somebody who can read your mind. And it's unbelievable. It really gives you chills, but... You have to understand he or she may not read your mind all the time. And sometimes people can take something in a different way. But being with somebody who can read your mind or who feel you so much that literally reads your mind is pretty amazing. But um, when you have a difficult situation or sensitive situation or, you know, there is vulnerability going on just make it easier and share because men not as intuitive as we are hint hint i love hinting because with a hint you give a person an opportunity to step in and do something wonderful for you or resolve an issue or they will ignore it and then you can both move on if somebody is ignoring your hint they do not want to participate 
okay you just give them freedom to move on and you know you had given them a chance and all is well we are back to, to old hollywood <laughs> So wonderful to see you all. Casey, we are still we still haven't seen your your magic on this chat. <laughs> you can do better than that. We are still waiting to to be impressed. <laughs> mm -hmm. Leah says guilty when younger big time yeah <laughs> I hear you you know as women we project we feel that this man will make you happy you know some sometimes a man tell you I will make you happy and I always say no you're not gonna make me happy I make myself happy that is my internal work but you can definitely contribute contribute to that you can definitely do things uh you can definitely you know share and c create beautiful things for you for for us and so on and so forth so um happiness is in, in our hands Petra, have a beautiful evening. Enjoy the romance. And uh, happy Valentine's Day to you and your special man. I hope you have a most wonderful day and um, wonderful weekend. And be nice, warm, and cozy. And just, uh, just having a wonderful time. You know, there are those moments um, that... You experience them, but you can't explain anybody else how it feels. You know, those magical, beautiful, sweet moments. So enjoy and um, I will see you soon. And for everybody in the chat. Uh, ELS ELS is saying I just discovered your channel I like it so far keep it up thank you ELS welcome welcome for my new subscribers I want to honor my new subscribers so for you guys um, when the show is over you want to share some thoughts you have some questions write in the comments below maybe there are some topics you would like me to talk about it maybe you have a video request Maybe you have an idea because if you are new, that is exciting for me too because um, I want to know what you are into and what kind of content you're looking for. I may or may not resonate with it, but I will give it a try. I will give it a shot. Okay. So thank you and welcome ELS. Uh, thank you, Leah. Thank you, Brianna B. I don't know who, who you're talking about, but hopefully. <laughs> I thank you anyway. Um, <laughs> wow, so many comments I'm trying to. <laughs> yes, pretty much. You know, okay, let me get back to color. Okay, so some people did not see me in color. Let me go back to color. This is this is this is called crush. It's a little bit darker than than I am, but um it's okay. We can use some darkness. <laughs> but anyhow, um let's see. So basically, oh thank you, Nala. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Uh or thank you, Brianna. Brianna says you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So, um, 
<laughs> things. I love black and white. I'm addicted to black and white, but it's nice to change. So anyhow, if you want to understand, if you want to have a dynamic, if you are more into classic stuff, into old-fashioned stuff, just... You know, if you're younger and you've never seen it, you can just watch movies from, you know, 50s and, and 60s and just learn learn that culture. Um, Slavic culture, uh, Indian culture, you know, they're just more conservative and still, in, even in this day, they're still more on a conservative uh, side, uh, old-fashioned side and... I think that, of course, there is modern twist on everything now, but I think um, a lot of people are looking to have something more elegant, more beautiful, more respectful. A lot of people feel, I don't know about you guys, I feel like a total outsider. I could not care less about the the modern pop culture, about the rap songs, about the the women doing awful things and degrading themselves, calling themselves awful names and it just it's just I do not I do not judge people. It's if they're happy to do this, I mean I just don't wanna see it. I don't want I'm not inspired by it. I'm concerned about the world. I'm concerned about 12 year old girls, 14 year old girls that I look out to people like Cardi B and think that that is how women should be. That concerns me deeply because that is not beauty. That is not grace. That is not um, inspiration. That is not a beautiful future. But one thing that we can do is we can create beautiful, elegant, um, inspiring things in our own lives, you know, with people around us, in our own homes. We can create that. And, you know, even though there is major westernizing in the United States, but there are plenty of women who want to be feminine, they create feminine channels, um... They want to enjoy old-fashioned things. They want to thrive in their femininity. Uh, and of course, uh, you know, I'm coming from... I have a Slavic background. I'm, I don't know if I'm more Russian or I'm more Ukrainian. It's hard to say. But um, really, we all have in common the traditional mindset and the appreciation for classic and classic beauty and... Uh, not just the outside, but in relationships and culture and the way you do things. So if you like me, you feel like an outsider, you came to the right place. If you feel that you don't want to drop your standards, if you don't believe into hookup culture, if you don't believe into uh, living on a bare minimum, put bare minimum effort in who you are, um, if you have some standards and you want to evolve and you want to create beauty as a woman and inspire, um, you may enjoy this content. And if you're the man who, who is thinking that, okay, feminine women had ended and it's all over, <laughs> we, we are not ended, we, are, we may go extinct, but if we will have masculine men around us, we won't go in, in extinct okay <laughs> oh. if we have masculine men around us it will help us to not go extinct right that's another video <laughs> um Nala I do believe that you had not watched that video I do believe you because I would not watch this video for the second time if somebody would pay me. I would not watch it. She she, she put the new video and uh, I was watching one of the creators that I watch. And he went through maybe 10 seconds of it and stopped. And it, it's, it, it is horrifying. And it's, it's just so...
but you know i tell i tell always to people that mainstream um is always main it's mainstream you know most people are not um deep thinkers most people lack in awareness uh, most people lack in class and most people lack in critical thinking so don't be like most it's okay to be different to be just to be you and to know what you stand for and when you know what you stand for you realize you are not alone and there are plenty more people that feel this way you know what was the craziest also that they um sent cardi b to uh be a teacher in school like play a lesson in uh and I don't know, first grade or something. I almost had a heart attack. Because children and people who promote this kind of li life um, should never be close to each other with a with a hundred mile proximity proximity. Yes, Nala. OMG. <laughs> exactly. So they put Curdy B for like a fun lesson with some kids. And I'm just like, I had chills. I'm glad my child wasn't there. This is just ridiculous. This is this is how far things can go. But the only thing we can control is to create beauty around us. You know, it's true. Unfortunately, yes, US do glorify and celebrate trash culture. But again... You don't have to be a part of it. And the funny, the interesting thing is that um, there is probably a lot more people that are not part of it that we are aware of. So let's create beautiful things. You know, let's show manners to younger children uh, and to older children too. <laughs> let's show class. Let's show manners. You know, it was interesting, guys. Today I was standing in line. Um, I, I don't wear a mask. I have my clear shield. Um, but I forgot my shield. I don't think about this stuff. So I was just staying in the store here in my uh, little town. And people are more conservative here. They don't care so much about this whole BS. So I'm standing there and the line is huge. The, the, the line in the store, like in soviet times or post-soviet times <clears throat> anyhow i'm staying in the store and um they just opened an alternative line and there is a man um behind me he only has a few items and i tell him hey you know they opened that line uh next to us and, and he says no i'm good i would rather stay here as long as he said, I would rather stay here as long as I can. He said something about um, the... Um, how did he say that? He, 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 he did make me a compliment. Uh, you, you know, he, he said something about um, the, the family and the... Something he said. He made me a compliment. He said that I was looking pretty. But he also mentioned, like, I don't know when next time I'm going to get this vibe. You know, this this thing. So I'm going to stay. He said, I'm going to stay right here to the very end of it. That was really funny. And, you know, it's interesting because you know, I could tell that, <laughs> you know, and it's it's funny because he was not trying to hit on me. He was just trying to enjoy the experience. He kind of like I'm the like I'm the, I'm in a good spot. I don't care that it's a big line, like in Soviet Union. But I'm just gonna enjoy this, and I'm just oh thank you, you know. I just said thank you, and you know I was laughing, and um, so big line can be fun when you have good attitude, and ladies, we have this incredible power. And this is not with competing or being trashy or showing men this or showing something else. It's just us enjoying our own selves, you know, just standing 
being present, you know, being playful and things like that. <laughs> Thank you, Casey. <laughs> Nala says I'll be here forever. <laughs> well, thanks, Nala. You're welcome. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Brianna. Brianna says, Veronica has a good message. Thank you, Brianna. Yeah, let's not talk about them. <laughs> let's not talk about face diapers. Ladies, if you have an opportunity, wear the clear shield or something like that or something pretty. Don't let these people talk you out of your beauty routines. Okay? <laughs> two masks yeah i'm not supposed to curse i'm a lady i'm a lady <sighs> i'm gonna um <laughs> i'm gonna look if i have any questions or suggestions Well, I'm gonna put some bubbles because I want to say thank you everybody who had supported me today on this live chat um, it's always encouraging it's always lets me know that you enjoying the show and I really appreciate that thank you for the valuable messages and comments and I just want to tell you that uh, spoil yourself a little bit not just this weekend but in general in order to be able to give others, we have to replenish and uh, be well watered and uh, in order to strive, right? Because we cannot give from empty cup. A lot of you ladies may be like me, and you may have been raised by the mother who was very, uh, you know, self, uh, giving herself too much and um, kind of depleting herself. So, for all the ladies who are watching me, I hope that uh, the you will give a, yourself a special treat this weekend. <laughs> because self-love is always mutual and self-love encouraging is, is a major encouragement for others to treat you well, to do wonderful things for you. Who... Ladies in the chat, whoever, if you've ever tried this, when you start treating yourself well, when you start giving yourself the best, that extra time, when you take time to smile to yourself in the mirror, when you uplift yourself with positive thoughts, when you go a little bit of extra mile when you're dressing up, what happens? Everybody else start to treat you and well and try to please you and try to surprise you and try to just do more of what you are already doing so it's a must you gotta spoil yourself a little bit and for gentlemen remember that when you doing something for us you are giving something to yourself your our giving to you is our receiving from you when you receive when we receive from you we are giving to you back just by our act of receiving so when you are giving you stepping into your highest power and um you are creating magic for us and it comes back it's always comes back to you time at times uh 10 <laughs> or more so um if you forgotten or you want to do something special for somebody special, 
don't be shy don't question yourself do something wonderful even if you don't i mean not even but especially if you don't expect anything in return just be light-hearted and have fun don't do something because you feel you must you have you know it's like big heavy stone do something because uh you want to do it right and um Our giving back is happiness of receiving. So, ladies, we are giving back by just being happy and inspired to receive. They're trying to con convince us otherwise. They're trying to convince us in partnerships and 50-50 and, you know, roommates. But this is not how magic is made. So, I appreciate all of you guys. I want to give some note to appreciation. I have some wonderful men who have followed me. A lot of men who have followed me are very traditional, very classic, very generous. I have very good taste and appreciation for femininity. Um, keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, keeping the chivalry alive and um i in fact do know you exist a lot of ladies doubt that you know generous and chivalrous and gentlemen still exist but i can reassure you that they do thank you so much for your support of my channel for your contributions for the love and uh, we are celebrating you as well don't think that it's one-sided it's never one-sided we are celebrating you as well so um <laughs> i just want to make sure you know that we can only be truly feminine when we have your masculine presence wait excuse me guys I put something way too low. <laughs> so... <laughs> Yeah, um, Jimmy said, my dad raised my, raised me by example, he treated my mom like a queen. Yes, that is wonderful. That is why you're such a gentleman. <laughs> um, Casey, quality over quantity feels amazing <laughs> but sometimes quality also comes in quantity that's pretty good too <laughs> right <laughs> thank you joshua you are really sweet <laughs> The teacup is a giveaway in, in which sense? <laughs> Actually, my teacup is matching my earrings. I have roses for my teacup and roses my earrings. Guys, you, you realize what, how much of groundwork goes here? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so... When we create beautiful things for ourselves as ladies, we create beauty in this world. So let's enjoy some love, relaxation. If, if you feel a little bit lonely or something is not the way you want it, think about somebody else who may be in a worse position or somebody who is maybe older and they're by themselves. Think about that um, and uh, send some love 
give somebody a call, always do for something that you want to receive. I'm going to say this again, always do for something um, that you want to receive. <laughs> Черный кот, when you tick up matching your earrings, you have a cheap master level class. Oh my goodness. Well, guys, I'll tell you what. It's interesting because, okay, so this this beautiful teacup was a gift. And it happens to match my earrings. <laughs> so it all orchestrated together. So some things uh, you create by yourself, some things are given to you. And when you're on the same note, they all make sense and align. And you achieve... Uh, master level class <laughs> when, you, when you, you know maybe I should call this um, video to attract some more ladies when your earrings <laughs> match in your cup <laughs> you guys are so silly <laughs> thanks Jordan God <laughs> Terry <laughs> Terry Stane from, from the COVID camp. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to you too. And um, thank you for doing the hard work. It's always um, nice to see you on my chat. <laughs> thank you guys. Thank you so much for every everything. I wish you a wonderful weekend. I will see you soon. And... Uh, Keep your mind clean and clear from all the negative stuff. Switch off your TV and enjoy some love. Have a good night, everyone.